Over the years, I have worked with so many dating coaches and they've been both male and female dating coaches who have taught guys how to go out, speak to strangers and find themselves dates. But there's always been, I think, this philosophical question that's floated around every sort of dating community and that's, should women be also cold approaching the guys? And I really love this question, which is why this video isn't really for the guys. It's actually for the women who watch my channel and are maybe interested if they've seen a guy that they find attractive and they're very unsure whether or not they should go over and, uh, and speak to them, strike up a conversation and see where that leads. So, I think what I'm going to do for this video is I'd love to be able to share with you some of the insights I've got with the dating coaches that I've worked with who haven't just maybe taught guys, but they've either taught women as well or just teach women specifically. And for me, it's been really fascinating to hear and see what's taught kind of on the other side of the fence. You know, you spend a lot of time hearing what the guys are taught and what to say and what to do to meet women, but you're not really hearing much of the story about what do women need to do or say to actually meet and attract a guy as well. So I thought I'm going to put that into a video as well as I think really talking about what kind of advice would I be giving to women if they want to go and cold approach and how is the best way to go and do it but I'm still going to hold guys responsible here as well by saying or at least expressing what guys need to do to make themselves more approachable to women if they want to encourage women to come over and speak to them too. So my name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. For the last 16 years, I've worked behind the scenes with so many dating coaches based in London and internationally, but pretty much everyone who's like passed through London at some point or another. And I would work with them on their YouTube channels behind the scenes, as well as even working with their clients to help them with their anxiety and confidence so they could have an even better experience with the coaches that they were working with. And I found it really, really fascinating to a point that I then trained myself in life coaching and in therapy work as well. So I can then now be at the forefront rather than behind the scenes and pass that information directly to you. So if you are thinking about going to a dating coach, I can get you even more prepared. Or if you need the help with anxiety, then of course I'm here too as well. But I don't want to digress with that in this video. This video is really just to encourage you ladies to go and approach as well. So over the years, um, I have certainly worked with some female dating coaches and uh, two of which that really come to mind is Hayley Quinn and Sammy Wonder, two fantastic coaches in their fields and really teach very different things as well to women to help them to find not just dates, but also lifelong partners. And I think really, look, we'll start with Hayley first. But hey, so Hayley, I met, I think it must have been about 2012, 2013. So I've known her for a really long time. And I met Hayley through working in the dating industry. And then she'd hired me to work with her behind the scenes on her YouTube channel, which definitely go and check it out. There is amazingly good content on there. Uh, in fact, I'll put a link in the description to it. And she's got over 100,000 followers on that as well as she has done talks for TEDx. She's been, uh, I think, flown internationally to go and do talks and events and workshops everywhere, uh, as well as I think, unless it's changed now, but I'm certain she's also the brand ambassador for Match.com. So she is a very highly regarded dating coach, teaching both men and women how to go out on cold approach and get really good results in dating. And uh, on a few, certainly on a few occasions, I've been very fortunate to be around Hayley when she's been teaching women how to go out and cold approach. And it's fascinating to see 
this again this other side of the fence that's being taught and really what guys aren't aware of that women are aware of when it comes to the dating game so like for example i remember once Haley did a workshop and she took uh, a load of women out and i was filming one of the women documenting her journey and she was like really really nervous about the idea to go uh, and approach strangers so first of all guys like bear in mind that like, women are just as scared to go and talk to strangers as much as you are and why even when you get really desensitized to cold approaching you've got to be sympathetic to people in understanding that they are still probably very nervous of talking to strangers and not knowing what the intentions are of someone so it goes both ways and even then i've known the guys when they've been approached by women as well even they're in the same boat they're like i don't know what she wants um so for the women who are watching this just bear in mind that guys especially in this sort of modern day and age even if you approach them they aren't going to take the hint that you're attracted to them they are going to be still either a little bit clueless and oblivious to the signs that you're giving them or they might have a hint that you might like them but they're not going to take the risk in doing it in case the situation somehow goes horribly wrong so one of the things though that Haley would then teach is uh to the women is to kind of get them to uh, stop the guy have some like opinion like opener going on or ask for like directions or something and then just try and st strike up a very casual conversation and sort of throw in hints about that the women are single that they are maybe free that they're not busy on particular days or times and stuff or that they're new to the city and and so on and essentially kind of hint to the guy that they maybe want something to happen and give the guy the opportunity to almost come to that conclusion himself to then ask her on a date so she wants she goes over approaches a guy hints to him uh that she wants a date and basically encourages him to basically think that that was his idea and then he asks her out he walks away really happy and she walks away really pleased that she's now got a date with a guy that she's attracted to so you know guys understand as well that if women want something to happen they will do whatever they can to try and make the situation play out as smoothly or as easy and as simple as possible so it really is a case of like you've got to try and read the situation read the cues and body language that women are given and in fact actually that's another thing that Haley used to really teach as well is try and encourage women to just play a little bit into their femininity you know even if women are that little bit more masculine they've got these very entrepreneurial jobs or maybe they're directors and stuff of businesses there's got to be something that at least encourages this uh, how would I describe it like kind of like this yin yang sort of effect you've got to have some opportunity to try and let a guy be a guy and a woman be a woman and even saying that though um one of the beautiful things that I really liked as well with what Haley was teaching the women is that there were women who were coming forward yes they were attracted to guys but there was also women who were attracted to other women and they wanted to date as well so one as long as like there was some like clear intention with the flirting going on but two there again still needed to be some kind of yin yang thing of like well who needs to be that bit more directness who needs to at least take the the lead in making the decisions here and the other person kind of sort of not not melt into them but at least just like one person lead and the other one at least kind of like follow and you know and things again fit in like this yin yang sort of way so again i i just thought it was amazing to see just how you know things were taught on both sides and and that was at least with Haley, but the women were at least getting fantastic results just as much as the men were and they were also going through a lot of anxiety and confidence issues the exact same as what guys were as well so no one is free from anxiety however 
confident and outgoing or introverted, extroverted you might be, everyone really gets affected by anxiety. So I, I found that really interesting. And the other coach that I mentioned, so you've got Sammy Wonder. So Sammy works uh, also as kind of like a dating and relationship coach, but she specifically kind of helps women to uh, essentially play the, the field a little bit and actually encourage the guys that the women are dating to basically settle down, put a ring on it, and get married as soon as possible. So Sammy, I remember I filmed a, a, a couple of days workshop a good few years ago now. Uh, and I think that was at the Shard as well. And that for me was really interesting because that taught women one to be more confident and bold with what they want to, to also play a little bit into their femininity. So they could certainly capture the kind of masculine guy that they were looking for. Um, and three as well, and this is going to be the really surprising one to, she taught something called, I think it was called like spinning plate dating or, or, or something of the sort where she said to the women, go wild with dating. You date who you want and as many people as you want, but you're not going to be exclusive to any guy unless they decide they want to settle down with you and they can see some like long-term commitment with you. And I really love this because one of the things that I think guys were taught, uh, or guys were definitely taught this many years ago, is the two concepts of pre-selection and social proof. So pre-selection would be this kind of like competitiveness between other people of the sexes who are competing for you. So if you've got a confident guy, let's say in a club and he's seen uh, talking to or spending time with a really attractive woman, then other women around are going to see him talking to her and they're going to be like, I want, I want that guy. I want to compete with him too, which is where kind of then like the social... Uh, pre-selection and social proof comes in where then you are seen in higher regard because you are being very confident and you are being sociable and being seen around other sociable, confident and attractive people. So the combination of pre-selection and social proof would mean then, especially on guys, would mean then that other girls want to kind of meet the guy. They want to try and date him. There's a competitiveness between the other women who are also attracted to him. And so they all kind of like try and fight over it or fight over each other for the guy. And what Sammy was teaching was the exact same thing for women where they would basically say to the, she would say to the women, look, just keep on dating and make sure that the guys are aware that you are dating other guys and so then the guys would have that bit of like, oh, I don't know how I feel about sharing her with other women. And she's not going to be exclusive with me unless I propose to her or unless I want her to settle down with me. And actually, I one of the things I think I really like with that is that it took away the indecisiveness of guys. It was like, no, look, if you want to be with her, then you need to decide if you want to be with her. Don't mess her around. Don't mess yourself around make a decision and stick with it. And that is what got Sammy. I'm sure she's got now like like over a thousand uh, women who've actually gotten married because of the techniques and dating strategies that she taught them, which is amazing, really. I mean, I'm all for people having actual long-term relationships and marriages as long as they are finding the right partners for it as well as I'm also absolutely okay if people want to play the field and have fun and just making sure that they are also meeting the right kind of people along the way and making it very clear where they stand and where their uh, the their partners are standing as well. You know, I don't like the idea of people being led on and I don't think Sammy did either. And even same with Haley. It was all about, you know, honesty, but being very bold and blunt with what you're looking for in dating. And I think that's something that everyone should really be appreciating because of that clarity that you get. So there is a lot then like guys could probably also consider with that. And I think as long as you're also making it clear with your intentions and 
uh, and just being very honest, I think with women as well, you're going to be meeting the right kind of people who want the same thing as you. But this is again for, for the ladies. So especially I think uh, as well in this kind of day and age, um, you know, if we're going to be talking about equality here, absolutely. I do think that women should be approaching guys even more. Um, I don't think the weight necessarily needs to be on guys. And I do know there are dating coaches that say like it's the man's role that should do it and stuff. But if people want one, the dating life that they dream of or that they deserve, then you need to be taking, I think, more action with putting yourself out there and actually speaking to the people that you want to speak to. And if you're looking as well to have a relationship then sometimes you just have to go for stuff. And, you know, why in this day and age when everyone is so caught up in social media and spending time on their phones or reliant on dating apps and just being very, um, I don't know what the word would be, but people are, people are very picky um, on looking at who they want to date and they're just filtering people more on their looks rather than if there is actually some kind of compatibility there. So why not have this like real life in-person Tinder, you know, swiping left and right on people on the street and actually going for people that you're like, you know what, that person looks really attractive. I'm going to just go over and see if maybe we are compatible enough to potentially go on a date. And that is for both men and women in that uh, statement. So if you're a guy and you see a girl that you really like, have that mindset. And if you're a woman who sees a guy as well, go and do that too. I think that would be amazing. Why not have a dating life that you're like, I'm actually dating the good kind of guys or the guys that I'm just really attracted to. If you want to have a bit of fun, then my goodness, you're probably going to be going for the the uh, the model light looking studs and stuff. And even then, if you're someone who's looking for a relationship, you're going to be still, yes, going for guys that you're attracted to, but you're going to be then going for guys that you can at least then filter out and decide, right, is that someone I want to have a relationship with or not? Whereas I do think if you're meeting guys through dating apps, there are certainly going to be a big portion of guys who are probably just looking to have a bit of fun. And it's whether or not they are being very open and honest about that intention before the day or on the day and stuff as well. You know, it does annoy me when I think I've seen guys uh, or even just here, I think of men and women who, you know, they put one thing on the app of what they're looking for and then actually they're trying to get something else from people. So if someone says that they want a long-term relationship uh, or they're looking for a life partner, but then people still try and date and then they go on the date and actually they just want to have a bit of fun. And the person who's looking for a life partner is like, no, I've made it clear what I was looking for. This wasn't what I'm after. You know, so people are then like wasting each other's time, I think, with that, which, you know, isn't great. It's not great. So what, so definitely um, I do think women go for what you want, filter guys out there. You'll find that you'll actually probably get better results, uh, especially if you're looking for a relationship by trying to actually meet people in person and see where that goes, whether it be through cold approaching on the street or if you're actually putting yourself in venues or social events where you are going to meet people with very similar interests as you or just maybe similar mindsets and stuff as well, then that's going to be a great way for you to meet people. So what would I advise women with approaching guys? Well, again, going on the things that I've learned from Haley and Sammy when I worked with them, I would say, first of all, just kind of make it clear. And in fact, you know, I'll even go on on just the experience of what I've liked when women have kind of made it clear to me that they're attracted to me as well. I think, first of all, definitely if you're out cold approaching eye contact is going to be a big one. Like if you do notice someone, uh, try and maybe at least create a little bit of a connection with the eye contact by like holding it for a few seconds. Unfortunately, like when with guys, we don't always take the cue with that and we'll kind of like look away or we'll think like, oh, hang on a minute. Is she, is she looking at me? Am I, am I certain? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of by a wall, so there's nothing behind me. Is she looking at me? Is she looking where the toilet is? I'm not sure. So 
besides looking at a guy, you do need to probably smile at him. Depending on like if you're in a venue, I'd probably say maybe this leans a bit more in a venue at the moment. And I would recommend as well, if he hasn't made that move to come over to you in the first few seconds, then you need to be the one to sort of like have the cojones to go over and do it yourself and just strike up a conversation. And what would that conversation look like? Well, I mean, you could say something very bold. You can be like, I can't believe that you were holding that strong eye contact with me and you didn't come over and say hello. So I've come over instead to say hello. Hi, my name is something like that. Very simple. And I can assure you a guy is going to take the hint there like, oh, she was attracted to me, but she's calling me out on the fact that I didn't come over and do it. And what's really good is that you're actually going to probably encourage the guy to qualify himself in that situation or justify his reason and be like, oh, hey, you know what? I would have. I was just really nervous or like, oh, you know what? I would have. But I wasn't sure if you were looking at me or maybe you were like looking for like the toilet or something, you know, and I didn't want to like walk over and then find this like awkward moment that you have happen in like the movies. And and then I would have walked away with like my head held low. So, you know, guys, their brains are going haywire usually um, in those moments because they're like trying to logically understand the situation with whether or not to approach you. But you could just easily simplify it by going over and striking a conversation. Or even if you see guys having drinks and stuff or he's got a, a cocktail, a, a wine, whatever, you can go over and even ask uh, a question uh, about something in the environment or just an opinion open about something like, excuse me, look, I, I've got to say, like, I really like your, your suit. You're very, very smart in that. I was curious where you got it from. Or excuse me, you know what, I'm thinking about getting a wine but i i'm not really much of a wine person if you've got any recommendations of something called what are you drinking something like that is great now i'll also actually give credit to a woman that had popped up i think on uh my youtube feed i really can't recall who she was for the life of me but she made a really really good uh a good line as well which i totally nodded and was like hell yes to is that even as a statement during your conversation with a guy, why not say, I'm so glad that I came over to flirt with you? How, whatever your conversation was, you could be going over to a guy, excuse me, saying like, oh, the, the weather is really, really awful, isn't it? Uh, and, he, and he might say something about it as well or make a joke. And you say, oh, you know what? I am so glad I came over to flirt with you. How's your day going? Even something like that. I know it's, it's probably, yeah, I, there's probably something smoother I could probably end up like referencing if I wasn't thinking on the spot. But even something like that as a statement of, I'm, I'm so glad I came over to flirt with you. Fantastic. Fantastic. For, for the lady who, who came up with that, like thumbs up from me. It's brilliant, brilliant statement because at least then that takes out all of the cluelessness for guys on whether or not you going over to speak to him is you're there because you like him. Um, and the more clarity guys have got, I can assure you they'll get straight into flirting and actually easing into a conversation with you and letting it go wherever it needs to go. If it's going to a phone number or whatever, you could even, in fact, even as I'm thinking about it, you could even say to him like, look, I got to say like, you look really good, really good. You're probably like the hottest guy in the bar or something. Just something like that. You Just whatever it is, you could end up like literally just something that kind of like shows off your own, I dare say, riz. Just charm and woo-ness that hints to him like, you know what? She's come over to flirt with me. And I'm, quite, I'm attracted to that. And guys love it as well. If you're hesitant, guys will love it if you come over to come and speak to them. Now, if you're stopping a guy on the street then you also need to kind of play that same sort of like strategy as well. But you do want to also throw in particular hints that you are single and that you would be interested in a date. So that can really just happen by having topics about things that sort of like lead towards a date. So like talking about like like venues or bars or kind of like wines or cocktails and stuff, just things like that. But you could even be throwing in your own stories saying like, oh, you know what? 
I went with some of my girlfriends to this bar the other night and they had some like really nice cocktails. Have you got, do, what's, what's your favorite bar in London to go to? Things like that. And then you could be, and then if he says, and you could be like, oh, you know what? I've never been there. You'll have, what's it like? Or you'll have to, you'll have to give me some recommendations for stuff. But it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. You've got to kind of, you've got to be holding eye contact. You've got to have a bit of a cheeky smile. Uh, I dare say you've got to soften your body language a little bit. It's more just to kind of make him feel like, oh, you know what? I feel, oh yeah, I feel really good. Like that, that this woman's speaking to me. I feel a bit more powerful and confident in myself. You've, you've got to give him some strength a little bit. In my personal honest opinion from what I've seen, you've got to give him just a little bit. You've got to make him feel like he wants it as well and that he's got to find his own cojones to go and do it and say something for like, yeah, let let me, I'd love to take you out on a date sometime. Let's go for a drink. Or let me take you to my favorite bar and I'll order you uh, that glass of wine or a cocktail. You've got to let him, give him an opportunity to take some leadership uh, in that and he'll feel better for it as well he'll give it it will give him some confidence or self-esteem to to take action even if it is your decision to encourage him to uh to do that um so yeah definitely lead the conversation to to wanting to go on a date and again just encouraging him um to ask you out and then as soon as he starts giving you some ideas like help him out a little bit with that and say, well, look, you know what? I'm free this Friday or Saturday uh, if you've got something. Otherwise, you know, why don't you take my number and let me know when you're free or something? Something like that, great. But you don't want to come across too forward with it because that can also scare off guys, believe it or not, because they're so not used to uh, women being um, coming up to them and speaking to them that guys' logic will kind of go to like, well, what's her agenda here? What is she after? what does she want from me? Like, uh, what does she want me to buy her or something? Like what's, what's the, the situation? So you don't want him to start overthinking down this, like, like, oh no, that maybe this is like a sales strategy sort of thing. You know, a bit like if a charity worker stops you on the street and they give you a compliment and you're like, oh, here we go. I, we know exactly where this conversation is going to be leading. So just be aware of that, that coming across too strong can be a bit too much, but, what can guys do? So this last segment, this is for the guys. Guys, first impressions certainly matter. If you're going out and you're dressing really poorly, that's also going to put women off from the idea of approaching you. You've got to also show some level of openness that you're not going to be too intimidating or scary, or you're going to maybe potentially give off some look that you might have a bad reaction to being stopped or approached that that is what's going to put her off or anyone off so make yourself look a lot more welcoming dress smartly groom yourself look as if you're about to go on a date you know consider daytime uh when you're walking around during the day considering it a bit like as if you're going for date night so dress smartly dress presentably as well have a bit of a smile on your face, which I know is easier said than done and can also sound a little bit weird, but you want to look welcoming and hold eye contact with people as you're walking by as well. If you're looking down at the floor, if you're looking at your phone or just looking up at the buildings and stuff, even if you're in an autopilot because you're thinking about jobs and things that you need to do during that day, which may be the reason why you're leaving the house, just consider as well, like holding eye contact with people might also be giving them that welcomeness and openness of something happening between the two of you. So it then turns what's called a cold approach into something called a warm approach, where if let's say you've held eye contact with someone, whether you're a guy, whether you're a man or a woman and you're holding eye contact with someone else and they smile at you, if you were to then go and speak to that person who has smiled at you, the likelihood is you're going to have more openness to having a conversation. And that's what's called a warm approach. So bear that in mind, like you have to change your body language to something that looks more inviting for someone. And you'll find that by doing that, especially if women were to go out and be cold approaching, 
you're going to turn that into more of a warm approach and they're going to be more open to coming over to speaking to you, whether that be on the street or in venues, in bars, in social events and having hobbies and stuff as well. So openness, looking more open with your body language, eye contact, a bit of smiling, try not to have too close body language, try not to spend too much time looking at your phone and certainly by just dressing in a smart casual way that looks presentable and is certainly going to put you in the best possible light that does at least increase your chances but that doesn't necessarily mean guys just leave it to women to now go and approach that is still something that you should be doing but certainly for women I because I encourage you I highly encourage you to go and approach guys at least then you're going to end up speaking to guys who are going to be open to having a conversation with you too. So, and again, this is going to be, a, this was a really long video, uh, but I really hope that you got some useful information out of it and definitely go and check out those two dating and relationship coaches. So it's Hayley Quinn and Sammy Wonder. They are fantastic coaches. They offer a load of really good advice. So if you are a woman who's looking for that sort of stuff, by all means, go and check them out. They are brilliant and they will hopefully get you the results that you're after as well. But if you are looking out on the streets of London and you see someone that you're attracted to, don't be afraid to go and speak to them. There is nothing wrong with it. And if you can, I don't know, play the strategy of, you know, letting the guys think that it was their decision to ask you out or asking you out, I think you'll probably find you'll be going on a lot more dates with guys that you're probably more attracted to. You've got more of a filter on and certainly you're more compatible with rather than necessarily the guys that you might be meeting on the dating apps as well. So I really hope that you found this video useful. Please like it if you did and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more content that's going to help you with your anxiety and confidence and certainly meeting more people in real life. And I'd also love to let hear, so I'm stumbling over my words now, but I'd also love to hear your thoughts on this video. And if maybe you've got other ideas for videos too as well. I wanna bring men and women certainly closer together and have everyone have a better dating life. And I can do that with your help and certainly your feedback. And even then, maybe you've got people that you want me to interview and collaborate with. I will certainly consider that too. But should women be approaching guys? Absolutely. Guys want to be approached too. And guys, if you can make yourself more presentable, more open, and certainly be more willing to create that connection with people that you haven't yet spoken to yet, I can assure you, you're going to have a great date in life and the women absolutely will as well.